I'm joined by Patriotic Alliance leader Gayton McKenzie to discuss PA policy and his open letter to Julius Malema. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, your open letter to Julius Malema was widely circulated, and Malema basically said he's not particularly bothered about it. It, it doesn't faze him. Were you expecting that response? Well, you know what? That, everybody that knows Malema knows that he's very outspoken. Everybody that knows Malema knows he's very rude. Everybody that knows Malema knows that you don't mess with him. Now, the mere fact that that's his response should tell you that he doesn't know what to say. He's got nothing to say. He can't say, I'm lying. That's just another way of him running away from the truth. We were expecting that. Because everything I said there, there's no lie. And Julius Malema should have stood up and said, no, it's not like this, it's not like that. He's, if you accuse me of anything, in any court of law, silence means, yes, I did it. So what made you write that letter? Do you know, people, if there's many people that, that say maybe it's an electioneering ploy, or there's many people that say it's... Well, it is awfully well-timed. We're 12 days away from the elections, and suddenly you've got the scathing letter out to Julius Malema. First, let me, let me start by saying that uh, there's no bad time to tell the truth. Secondly, I'd be lying if I said to you and say to you that, no, I don't even think that it can even uh, forward our, what, we, what we stand for. There is that... It, but it's a very small part of why we wrote the letter. Uh, are we actually saying that, as a politician, you should hold your truth for after the elections? Because it, it, that's how I understand it. So if, if I see an injustice or I see uh, somebody making mistakes, I shouldn't speak about it, simply because it's election time and I might be accused of electioneering. Julius Malema is a real danger to this country. Julius Malema is the biggest threat this country has ever faced. Now, what people need to understand is that everything Julius Malema says affects all of us here. Because if this country burns, which it's going to happen, because I know, you know, and every right-thinking person knows that he's promising people heaven and he can't produce even the earth. Julius Malema will take this country down with him. Julius Malema called white people land thieves. I asked Floyd on national TV, I said, Floyd, a white friend of mine bought, came to Cape Town to visit me two years ago. He loved this country so much and he bought himself a piece of land in Cape Town. I said, is that friend of mine a land thief? He said, yes, we're gonna take that land. Now, if you sit here and you believe like they do in the EFF, that when you come and take white people's land, they will just come and offer you, white people will offer you tea and cook sisters and say, after, just have some and then you can take the land and we're out of here. He's leading us to war. There are ways to address those imbalances. There are, we have signed a pact that we are a rainbow nation. Nelson Mandela died knowing that He's leaving behind a rainbow nation. So why did we agree to that today if we should call one part of the rainbow thieves? By a bigger thief. I was a thief. I was a conman. I know a thief and a conman when I see one. 